Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick, or The Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down my 2023-2024 slash playoff predictions all the way up until the Super Bowl, right? I want to break down every single game from the wild card round into the divisional round into the championship round all the way up until the Super Bowl. And I'm going to tell you guys who I think at the end of the playoffs will be crowned the Super Bowl champion of the year. But before we could get into things, if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please make sure that you do guys hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, whether you are new to the channel or not, please make sure that you do leave a like on today's video. It would help me out a ton. If you want to follow me on Twitter, please do so at NotoriousFNTSY. So without further ado, let's get into my 2023 slash 2024 NFL playoff prediction. So as you guys know, in the AFC, the one seed is the Ravens. And in the NFC, the one seed is the Baltimore Ravens. So obviously we'll not be talking about them until the divisional round. So the first game on the slate on Saturday is an AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Houston Texans. Now this is basically where the Houston Texans play every single time they make the playoffs. They're always the early game on Saturday. It basically feels like that every Every single time. So we'll start there. That game is on NBC. So the Texans are a team that looked very good up against the Indianapolis Colts in that matchup on Saturday. This is a Browns team that kind of bent the knee in a way to the Cincinnati Bengals on Sunday. Now they didn't technically bend the knee Game of Thrones style, right? But they did just not care about that game, right? They benched all of their players and now we got a game of a team that hasn't really played in a week versus a team that looks pretty hot in the Texans. Now, I understand that the Cleveland Browns definitely have some injuries, but at the end of the day, while the Houston Texans have all of this offensive firepower, right, while everyone is going to get down on their knees and give the Gawk Gawk 9000 special to CJ Stroud, D'Amico Ryans, right? I'm ready to give them the praise as well, right? Congratulations. First year head coach, first year rookie quarterback getting to the playoffs, especially with how the Houston Texans looked last year, right? Incredibly impressive, right? So I'm not going to sit here and pretend like the Houston Texans have zero chance in this game. But if Joe Flacco just plays the average Joe Flacco game from this year, where he doesn't make a lot of mistakes, right? He throws the ball a bunch and doesn't do anything stupid. And I get that the Texans have a sneaky good defense. I've said that all year long. I genuinely do believe that the Cleveland Browns and cool Joe Flacco will advance. I really just believe that this Browns defense, when they are on, to me, the Houston Texans just will not have an answer for that. I think it could end up being a close game, but ultimately I do believe that the Cleveland Browns will advance as the away team in Houston over the Houston Texans into the next round. Again, I do really believe that the Cleveland Browns defense is going to play a huge factor into this game. This is a Houston Texans team that's very young. Joe Flacco has won the Super Bowl before, right? This is not as young of a team. These are guys, a lot of these players have been to the playoffs before. So I do really think that the Cleveland Browns have the advantage here and I would lean with them over the Houston Texans. And this is honestly one of the games out of all the games we're going to talk about that I am most confident in. The Browns are only favored by a couple of points here, but I do genuinely think that the Browns will win this game. So the next game, Saturday night, we stay in the AFC. That is on Peacock 815. Now I'm a Dolphins fan. I'm rocking my Tua shirt. I was thinking about after that Bills game, throwing that bitch into a fire because of how mad I am about the Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins have ruined the 2023 NFL season for me. Now, I've been a Dolphins fan when we were awful. I've been a Dolphins fan since I was a kid. So I've been rooting for them my whole life. And to be honest with you, that loss to the Buffalo Bills felt like I got kicked in the cock by some steel toe boots, right? Steel toe? Steel toe boots. Right, it really hurt. And to be honest with you, while I want to sit here and be like, oh, the Dolphins will be fine. The Chiefs are bad. The Chiefs this. The Chiefs that. The Miami Dolphins, we, I'm a part of the team. I've spent too much money on this team to not be a part of the team. We are going to go 
into Kansas City, where it's projected to be cold as fuck. It's projected to be anywhere from 2 degrees to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, right? This is a game that there is no way the Dolphins win. Now, realistically, on paper, the Dolphins should lay a smackdown, brother, WWE style on the Chiefs. But that's not going to happen, I don't think. I think while the Chiefs have been on the struggle bus for a while, I know the Chiefs barely beat, or they did, I guess they, in the second half, they played bad in Germany against the Dolphins. As a Dolphins fan, I want to say this is a win, right? I'm going to pray to the football gods that the Miami Dolphins take down the bad boys, the Kansas City Chiefs. They take down Kermit the Frog, Patrick Mahomes. But even with all the woes of the Chiefs, I just don't think this Dolphins team with all the injuries, Bradley Chubb, Andrew Van Ginkle gets hurt. Uh, Jalen Phillips is hurt. Xavier Howard's probably not going to play. Waddle might not play. Mostert might not play. This is a recipe for disaster. If this game was in Miami, I'd be sitting here banging the drum for Miami. But guess what? Since this game is in Kansas City, where it is going to be freezing. After the Dolphins just choked away a game where Josh Allen looked like Stevie Wonder after Tua Tunga Vailoa couldn't read a defense after the Dolphins offense was in them. Now I get Nick is not all to his fault. I know it's not all to his fault. Tyreek could have caught some balls as well, but the offense was a disaster. I cannot do it. I want the Dolphins to win. I would do anything for the Dolphins to win a Super Bowl, but I ultimately think the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead win. I hope I'm wrong. The Chiefs are so bad, but uh, this is just not a game for the Dolphins. So the next game, we move to the Sunday morning game, and that is going to be, we just get all the AFC in a row. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers going up against the Buffalo Bills. Now, the Buffalo Bills, while they have been winning these games recently, they haven't looked great. Like, I wouldn't say that the Bills offense looked amazing. Now, I get they're moving the ball, but inside of the red zone, they're really struggling. And they got kind of kickstarted by that punt that, of course, one of our edge rushers, the guy that we need, gets hurt, stopping in gold from tackling the guy. He runs into the end zone and it sucked. But the Bills offensively didn't look great. They looked good when they were doing the tush push, but in the red zone, they were kind of whimpering around. But at the end of the day, like, does anyone envision the Pittsburgh Steelers beating the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo? Now, again, I'm a Dolphins fan, right? I have my hopes that the Bills go down, 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 right? I hope the Bills lose so that the Dolphins do not have to play the Ravens in the second round if we were to miraculously make this crazy win against the Chiefs. But while I want the Bills to lose, the Buffalo Bills might destroy the Steelers. Now, I get the Steelers' defense is great and all, but Watts hurt. Watts the, the heartbeat of the defense. Josh Allen will probably run amok on this defense, right? Even if he throws a pick or two, he's just going to run when it matters. I think that they're going to be able to run the ball a lot more effectively than they did up against the Miami Dolphins in this game. I just don't see a way that the Buffalo Bills lose. Now, again, that might be crazy considering the Buffalo Bills passed in the playoffs over the last couple of years, but in the AFC wildcard round in Buffalo, a very big home field advantage, I just don't really see... Any, now, obviously, there's a way that any of these teams lose, right? So I don't want to say there's there's no way, dude, that they lose, but I just do not see them losing to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the next game in chronological order would be the Green Bay Packers versus the Dallas Cowboys. Now, the Green Bay Packers have been a team that this whole season, it's been a roller coaster ride, especially offensively, right? There's a couple of games start off the season where Jordan loves on top of the world. Then he kind of hits this downward skid. And then more recently, he starts to kind of rejuvenate himself. The Packers have a very solid win against the Bears to clinch their ticket to the playoffs. And now they have to face the Dallas Cowboys. Now, the Dallas Cowboys are another team that's kind of been up and down, has had their trials and tribulations of the season. But the Cowboys are a lot like the Dolphins, right? The Dolphins are a team that is dominant, chains and whips, 50 shades of gray style at home. But once you go, you know, to the cold, right? Once your nipples get a little hard when you walk outside, right? Once your balls start to shrivel up a little bit, that's when the Dolphins struggle. I believe the Cowboys are a team just like that. 
If this game was in Lambeau Field, for instance, there's a reason to believe, hey, the Cowboys haven't really done shit in the playoffs recently to make me believe that they are going to win. Now, this is a revenge game for Mike McCarthy up against the Packers. I like Jordan Love. I like the Packers. I think the Packers are a team that a lot of people thought, hey, Rodgers is gone. This is now a team that's going to be gone, right? Uh, just dead in the water. Love this. Love that. Jordan, love me tender. Love me sweet. Can't do it. Whatever. Thought that maybe this would be a disaster for the Packers. The Packers get to the playoffs. Congratulations. This is a great move for Jordan Love. This is great for the offense, right? Their defense has been very suspect. I just don't really see a way that even though the Cowboys are these quote-unquote generational playoff chokers, right? Do we really see Jordan Love, the Packers, beating the, the Cowboys? I just don't see it. Again, with how great that the Cowboys defense can be, and with how down tremendous the Packers defense can be, I just see the Cowboys winning this game at home in Dallas. The next game in terms of chronological order would be moving to Sunday night football, the LA Rams at the Detroit Lions. Now, this is a game where there's going to be a lot of narratives, right? People banging the drum for the Oh my gosh, Matthew Stafford's coming home to Detroit. What's going to happen? Now, realistically, these are two offenses that when they are cooking, they are two of the better offenses in the NFL. Stafford, Kyron Williams, Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, right? Then you got Jared Goff, David Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs. You got Amon Ross St. Brown. You got, you know, sometimes you can get a hot game out of maybe a guy like Josh Reynolds. Now they do have Sam Laporta, who sadly got hurt in that game. A lot of people throw a lot of blame on Dan Campbell, rightfully so. We got Amon Ra, though. They've got a couple of guys there that are fun as well, right? Jamison Williams. This is going to be a very fun game. But in the playoffs, I, the playoffs, if I believe two teams win on fire, have great offenses, I'm going to go to the team with the better defense. Now, this Lions defense, they start off the season, right? They beat the the, uh, the Chiefs. It's like, oh my gosh, rah, rah. The Chiefs, I mean, uh, are the Chiefs dead? This and the other thing. The Lions defense is this. Lions defense is that. And look, the Lions defense isn't like the worst unit in the NFL. Right? Far from it. But I think in a playoff environment, Sean McVay versus Dan Campbell, I'm going to take Sean McVay. Now, maybe maybe the, the fucking love story or the comeback revenge story, whatever you want to call it, Stafford coming home to Detroit, you know, maybe I'm just too hooked into the story, right? Maybe I'm just loving the story too much of Stafford coming back to Detroit winning the game. But I think the Lions are a better team. Or I don't think the Lions are a better team. I think the Rams are a better team. I feel as though Stafford is going to win this game. I feel as though the defense is going to be the reason why this is the case. This is going to be a close game. But I am going to lean with the Rams getting the upset on the road against the Lions. Now we move to the final game, Monday Night Football. Eagles versus the Buccaneers. Now, this is going to be a controversial game to break down because we have zero idea right now what A.J. Brown looks like come, come this game on Monday. How hurt is Jalen Hurts? Because he picked up his middle finger and that shit was mangled, okay? It was psychogled, as they say. So I'm a little bit worried on how healthy that Jalen Hurts is going to be in this game. Now, he came back into the game, and then they benched him for Mariota when they were getting raw-dogged by the Giants. Now, this is an Eagles team that, for all intensive purposes, is dead in the water. This is a team that hasn't shown much pizzazz in weeks. The question is, what is this Buccaneers team, right? Because this is a Buccaneers team that's very hot and cold. I have said this a couple times this season. It isn't necessarily the perfect comparison, but Baker Mayfield to me is a lot like Ryan Fitzpatrick. Now, I'm not saying that Baker Mayfield is destined to be like this career backup by any means, but what I'm saying is that Baker Mayfield, if he starts the game off hot, you're probably going to have a bad time if you're the other team. But if Baker starts off the game on the struggle bus a little bit, Plus, he's definitely banged up. We saw that in the game where the Bucs beat the Panthers and they the offense just looked limp dick. This is a really tough game. I think this is really a coin flip, if we're being honest with you. The question is, do I really see the Buccaneers beating the Eagles? Because while 
I think the Eagles, again, have been very inept. Nick Sirianni, is he on the hot seat? I don't know. But this is a defense that's been bad. Can Baker play good enough to win this game? And to be honest with you, while I think, while my brain tells me the Buccaneers should win this, if the Eagles just limit certain mistakes here, I don't think the Buccaneers should win this game. I think that if Baker plays his A game, his 100%, then yes, they could win. But if we get B, Baker Mayfield, C, Baker Mayfield, then even with a bit of a banged up Jalen Hurts, even with the woes of the Eagles, I'm going to have the Eagles winning this game. Now, again, my heart is with the Buccaneers, right? My, my, my heart is telling me, hey, the Buccaneers are going to win this game. But the brain tells me that Jalen Hurts and them, they're not, they're not one hitter quitters here, right? They're not one pump chumps. They're going to win one game here and then move on to the next round. So now we move to the divisional round. We got the Chiefs versus the Buffalo Bills, the Browns versus the Ravens. Then in the NFC, we got the Eagles versus the Cowboys and the 49ers versus the Rams. This would be an incredibly interesting divisional round. Now, I'm hoping the Dolphins are here dancing, going toe-to-toe with the Ravens. Again, try to use not my heart, try to use my brain in these videos. So, the Bills versus the Chiefs. This is tough. Because... The Bills have continued to win a lot of games that I don't think they should have won. But the Chiefs, on the other hand, have been losing a lot of games they probably should have lost, right? Sure, they beat the Chargers, this, that, and the other thing, but that, you know, Mahomes isn't out there. The whole team isn't out there, right? No one's really playing. Sure, Jones gets his sack, does his dancey dance, gets his uh, incentive. Cool, right? Let's see what happens here. Now, again, I am probably the nation's number one Buffalo Bills hater. But I'm going to be honest with you, in Buffalo, every single thing I've seen out of the Chiefs recently is that the Chiefs suck. Now, again, maybe it's just the Mahomes magic comes out in the playoffs, right? We're going to have Tony Romo doing a double suck, right? He's going to be basically getting double penetrated if he's cast in this game by Mahomes and by Josh Allen. It's going to be a true sight to see on television. But if I'm being honest with you, I think I would have to lean with the Bills here, and it's crazy. Bills were a team that was dead. Dead a couple of weeks ago. Dead. They were all but out of the playoffs, right? And I don't know why my hat is so fucked up right now, right? But they're because I launched at the TV when the Dolphins lost. But what I will say, what I will say, I do, I do declare here that I think that while the Bills were dead, this Chiefs team feels dead to me, right? This this Chiefs team, I think they're it's, it's, they're all to beat the Dolphins. The Dolphins will just. Or somehow, some way, just play terrible because it's in the cold. Tua's a little cold, and I love Tua, so I'm not trying to make fun of him. But if I'm being honest with you, I, I, I just I think in Buffalo again. Maybe this is a crazy take, but I do genuinely think the Chiefs. The Chiefs just don't feel like a Super Bowl team this year. Don't feel like an AFC Championship team. Going with the Buffalo Bills, crazy again. If four weeks ago, if someone told you the Bills were going to be in the AFC Championship game, you'd say that person is an idiot. That person doesn't know ball. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed, right? Let me know down below who you guys think are going to win the Super Bowl. So, now we fast forward. It is uh, January 8th. And I think the Bills are going to make the AFC Championship. Crazy enough. Now we'll slot to the other side, right? We'll do AFC, NFC, AFC, NFC. Cowboys, Eagles. Again, I... And I'm also, I'm not a Cowboys hater, but I am someone that like likes kind of dancing on the grave of the Cowboys, right? The Cowboys are kind of a team that every year people, you know, kind of just suck them off every year. Their fans are very rowdy. Their fans are always talk Super Bowl this, Super Bowl that, and they never live up to that. But even though this is a division game, even though Eagles realistically are not as good as the Cowboys, I could see the Eagles winning this game. But when push comes to shove, I don't know how I can predict. It's the same exact thing with the Bills versus the Chiefs. I don't know how I can predict the Eagles to get past this round. I don't know how I could do it. Eagles do not look good. Do not look good. This defense is atrocious. This defense, even though they gave the keys to Patricia, right? It seems like everything was getting fixed. 
And then Tarod Taylor goes out there and lets his nuts hang, right? I'm worried about the Eagles. I know the Cowboys are the Cowboys. The Cowboys are going to be the Cowboys. This and the other thing. But I don't, I just cannot see from an outside perspective right now, January 8th, how in the world the Eagles beat the Cowboys. I just don't see, I think the Eagles could lose to the Bucks very easily. So I don't see a way that the Cowboys are going to beat Eagles. Now we'll stay in the NFC, actually, and then we'll go back to the AFC. This is a game that's very, very tough. I want to talk about it. 49ers-Rams. Division game again. We have all these division games. The only game right now, if everything goes the, the way that I'm saying right now, right, this is going to be a AFC North game, divisional round. We have a NFC East game. And then down here, we have a matchup of the NFC North, right? That's crazy. That is truly crazy to me. And it's not the NFC North. Nick, it's not the NFC North. They're in the NFC West, you idiot. I know. I know. I just thought for some reason that it was lined up there like that, but obviously it's not. Right? For some reason in my head, it's like, oh, the North is on. The NFC North at the top. So it's going to be North right now. The NFC West. Nick, you idiot. I know. I know. Okay. I apologize. So we got an NFC West matchup, an NFC East matchup. We got a AFC North matchup. And then we got a battle of the AFC East versus the AFC West. So very interesting, right? If things were to play out this way, a lot of division rivalries and division games are always tougher. These are teams that have already played twice. They're games where, in my opinion, anything could happen. Now, the 49ers, after they kind of stumble and bumble, to the Ravens, a lot of people started to start to worry about the Niners, right? And I got that, right? I understood. The Ravens were dominant in that game. Brock Purdy was seeing ghosts like his name was Sam Darnold. Now, I understand these two teams played just a week ago, right? Now, this will be a couple weeks from the divisional game, but you get what I'm saying here, right? They just played, but it was Sam Darnold versus Carson Wentz, right? So while they've played twice, they've really only actually played once. And while I love to sing the praises of Matthew Stafford, while I love to talk about how exciting Puka Nakua is, how Kyron Williams came out of nowhere, like an RKO from Randy Orton, right? They push Cam Akers to side. They bring up Kyron Williams, and Kyron Williams has been beast mode this season. But again, does anyone in their right mind see the 49ers losing to the Rams? Right? Now, maybe if you are a Rams fan, you see it. Right? And again, this is a divisional game, so I'm not saying it is impossible possible for any of these things to happen because again when it's divisional shit kind of goes out the window right we always make that joke the nfc north the rule book or the not the rule book but you get what the rules not the rule book the uh stat book right the um, standings go out the window i just don't see the 49ers losing i really don't i do think that this might be a very vanilla year now again nick you're just predicting the two and the one seed to make it i genuinely think in the nfc to me, it's pretty clear that the 49ers are the best team. And then, based upon how the rest of the schedule goes, right, if the, the Cowboys go in here, it just seems very plausible that it's the Cowboys versus the 49ers. Now we move back to the AFC, where we got the Ravens versus the Browns. Now this is where people might start to say that, Nick, you are crazy. Nick, doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to be honest with you. I genuinely think that the Cleveland Browns are going to beat the Baltimore Ravens. Now, I know the Baltimore Ravens, Nick, are the best team in the NFL. Lamar Jackson is 1-3 in, in the playoffs. Now, again, Nick, you're a Dolphins fan. Tua's never won a playoff game. He's never even played in a playoff game until this year. I know. But again, we're taking fandom out of things. I'm speaking legitimately. This is a Joe Flacco revenge game. Now, this game being in Baltimore is what I believe will make this game very interesting. I think this is a game that's going to be very close. So again, I'm not going to sit here and just pretend, oh my God, it's a lock that I think that the Ravens are going to beat or that the Browns are going to beat the Ravens. Of course, I don't think it's a lock, right? I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm going to bet my fucking mortgage on the Cleveland Browns, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think the Browns are going to beat the Ravens. I think that the Baltimore Ravens defense has been great, but I think that Joe Flacco doesn't really make too 
stupid decisions. The reason why the Ravens have these offenses in fucking mental gymnastics, right? They're stuck in their own head, right? Is because of the fact Tua, he just kept fucking up against the Ravens. The Ravens come up and then Tua just doesn't do anything. He doesn't know what to do. He's flustered, right? The Ravens play the 49ers. Brock Purdy is in his own dome. Brock Purdy plays like absolute dog shit. So again, would I be surprised if the Ravens won? Of course not, right? And I know Ravens fans are going to be like, Nick, you're an idiot, right? People are going to come after me for this take. But I think the Browns are going to win this game. I really do. I really do. So again, call me as crazy as you want. Ravens, you know, they didn't play Lamar last week. We're on a bye week. Two weeks, you know, there, there might be a little bit of rust there. Cleveland Browns, cool Joe Flacco, might be a little hot. And I really do think, uh, after this video, now again, I, no spoil, actually, I'm not going to spoil anything. Not going to spoil anything. So next up, if you guys have enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Next up, we move to the championship game. So again, let me know in the comment section who you got in the AFC, the AFC championship, who you got in the Super Bowl. If you disagree with me, that's okay. I have done this like five years in a row, and I don't think I've ever predicted the Super Bowl winner. Last year, I had it um, all the way up to the AFC, the AFC championship game. I had it correct. And then I had the 49ers over the Eagles. And then I had the Bengals over the Chiefs. And that was wrong. But again, I have done pretty well early on. And then normally once it gets further on, I just so somehow fuck up who's going to win the Super Bowl. So Bills, Browns, 49ers, Cowboys. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can the Cowboys make it to the Super Bowl? This is where I think it all comes crumbling down for the Cowboys in Santa Clara, in home game for the 49ers. How? Someone, again, this is another scenario. Someone tell me how the Cowboys are going to win this game. Someone tell me. Someone tell me, right? The It's like, you know, the, the Bills own the Dolphins, right? We made that clear. The Dolphins own the Patriots. The Dolphins owns the Jets. The Bills, they struggle against the Patriots. They struggle against the Jets. But for some reason, they literally have our number as a Dolphins fan. 49ers have free real estate in the brain of the, of the Cowboys. I, again, the only way I think the Cowboys make it to the Super Bowl is if... Somehow, some way, the 49ers stumble and bumble, right? Regardless of who they play in the divisional round, whoever they play, that team beats the 49ers. Then maybe the Cowboys got an easier shot here, right? Maybe the Rams beat the 49ers, right? Now this game's in Dallas, right? Now this game's in Jerry's world. Now everything changes magically, right? Now it's very different story. It's a very different story. But since this game is in Santa Clara, I don't project the 49ers will lose. Now we got the Bills versus the Browns. And again, I am going to sound crazy. But if you just pick the missionary sex version of what's going to happen, you just pick the safer options. This is, you know, the NFL crazy shit happens, right? This isn't like the NBA back in the day, right? Where the, the Cavaliers play the Warriors every single time, right? That's not what happens in the NFL, right? A lot of random stuff that happens in the NFL. A couple of years ago, the Bengals come from out of nowhere they make it to the Super Bowl, right? They're, it's not always the number one or the number two team in the dance, right? It's not always the 49ers versus the Chiefs, right? It's not always, for instance, this year, it's not always the 49ers versus the Ravens, right? It's not always that. Josh Allen, he, he could run pure, right? All the way here, right? He can run as good as possible, right? He gets through those games that I think that the Bills should win, right? They get to go up against the Chiefs team that I think is struggling, right? I don't even think if they were playing any team, if they were playing a better team than the Dolphins, the Dolphins just struggle in the cold. If they were playing that game in Miami, the Chiefs' ass would be grass. They would not have made it to the second round, right? So they get the layup. They go up against the Chiefs, and it's not in Arrowhead. It's in Buffalo, right? They get to the big game, and this is finally their chance. They play the five seed. Everyone is watching. The lights are shining the brightest, and we get Josh Turner, the ball over. I think the Cleveland Browns is going to be on Joshua Allen's ass like grass. I think that the Cleveland Browns are going to make the Super Bowl. I know this might sound crazy. It even does sound kind of crazy to me. The more I think about it, but the more I think through these situations, the more we look at it, how possible does this seem, right? The Browns beat the Texans. That doesn't seem crazy, right? Then the Browns go up against their division rival, the Ravens. They beat the Ravens. 
doesn't seem that crazy. And now they play up against Josh Allen. They play up against the Buffalo Bills. Generational playoff chokers. And they win. And they go to the fucking Super Bowl. Now you're thinking, Nick, how crazy are you? Nick, are you really about to pick the Cleveland Browns to win the Super Bowl? The answer to that would be, fuck no, baby. I think horse cock Brock, big cock Brock Purdy wins the Super Bowl. Round of applause for him. I think this is where Joe Flacco's Linsanity run ends. I just don't think Joe Flacco has the answers to the 49ers. I really don't. I think this is a game where the Cleveland Browns get outweaponed, right? The San Francisco 49ers have every weapon, right? They've got the AK-47. They've got the SCAR. They've got the ACR. They've got the fucking bazookas. They've got the grenades. They've got a fucking tank in Christian McCaffrey, right? They have everything. And then on defense, while I know the defense hasn't been top of the world recently, right? They've, they've had some struggles, right? Like against the Ravens. This is a cakewalk for the 49ers. The Cleveland Browns make this amazing run, right? We're painting the picture like Bra Ross, right? They make this crazy run. They make it all the way to the Super Bowl. Holy shit, Joe Flacco is going to do it again. And then the big hammer, Brock Purdy, the 49ers, they get the monkey off the back. Finally do it. They finally do it. After so many years, Jimmy Garoppolo against the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, right? Last year, it feels like if Brock Purdy's finger doesn't get demented, then they win that game. But now they get their chance, and it's against the Browns. And the fun run of the Browns ends here, right? We finally think, holy fuck, the Browns are going to do it. And they don't, right? The 49ers end the story. Now, I know people are going to be like, Nick, it should be the Bills. Even if the Bills get here, I don't really care who gets here. The only team... Like, I, look, if the Ravens beat the Browns, we're sitting here in the Super Bowl. It's Ravens 49ers. I could definitely see the Ravens winning that, right? I definitely could. But I think the 49ers, unless they run into the Ravens, I, I don't think the Bills could beat them. I don't think the Browns could beat them. I don't think any of these teams are beating them, right? Uh, the Ravens. I don't, like, I think the Ravens could beat them, right? But then the Browns, I don't think the Browns stand a chance against the 49ers. The Steelers, definitely not. The Bills, maybe. The Dolphins, no shot. <laughs> um, the Chiefs, I don't think so either. The Texans, I don't think so either. Again, if this is again what I think, I said again a million times, this is what I think will happen. Now, if I was to say what my heart wants, my heart wants Tua Tungavailoa hoisting the Lombardi Trophy, right? That is what my heart wants. My heart wants Tua as the Super Bowl champion, Tua as this, the Dolphins, as being amazing, right? That's what my heart wants. But at the end of the day, what I think is going to actually end up happening, this is how the playoffs end up. I think we are going to end up, and I'm going to move myself. Actually, I'm going to just uh, slide myself over, right? Like uh, Collinsworth, who does that? The, the announcer, who gives a shit who it is, right? They do that, the slide in, they used to. I was that Al Michaels used to do it? Maybe, I don't know. I don't care. In 30 minutes already, so we got to close this one out. This is how I see it going. Now, again, people in the comment section are going to think, Nick, you're crazy, and maybe I am, right? Maybe I'm crazy for thinking the Cleveland Browns make this crazy run to go up against the 49ers in the Super Bowl, but I really do think that they will, and I think that the 49ers win the 2024 slash 2023 Super Bowl. So let me know in the comments what you guys think, right? Are you with me that thinks that the Browns are a certified wagon and the Browns are going to end up in the Super Bowl, or are you someone that maybe thinks, hey, the Ravens versus the 49ers, because that's very possible, right? Hey, the Ravens are going to be it, right? The, the Ravens are this, the Ravens are that. Go ahead, right? Let me know. That's very interesting. Again, my hope here, the Dolphins win, and then the Dolphins go against the Ravens. They kick the shit out of the Ravens. Then they go up against the Bills again. It's in Buffalo. Who cares? The Dolphins win. Then I don't care who they play. They're going to win, right? That's my hope. That's my prayers. That's what I hope happens. But in these prediction videos, I try to give you guys what I actually believe is going to happen and what I see happening. End of the season, Sam Darnold gets his first Super Bowl. I'm just kidding. Obviously, Brock Purdy wins the Super Bowl. 49ers get the monkey off their back. Beautiful to see. I would be very excited.
excited to see that. So let me know what you guys think again. I love you guys all so much. There'll be some more videos about the playoffs as the week goes on. We're we'll talking about all of the matchups even further than we did in today's video. So again, let me know I'm an idiot in the comments. Just make sure you guys leave that like button. It helps me out a ton. I love you guys all so much. Hope you have a great one. And as always, good boy.